I think coach is used quite often, uh, but I don't think myself as a coach because uh, it's a little bit different my path. You know, mm -hmm. when I was a child, I was morbidly obese and at age 14 made some lifestyle changes. And coaches can point out blind spots, but mentors typically have actually lived and walked that walk. So that's where that differentiating factor is. And it, it's all about that decision. The day you decide to make a change, you're not happy with the way things are, you want it to be better. That's an important moment, isn't it? Well, being mindful of your choices and that we are empowered to make choices. And we're fortunate to live in a country like Canada where we are empowered to say, hey, do I want to make some changes? And then, yes, okay, well then what, right? And, and having that belief and connecting with communities to support us. Not just food, not just fitness, there's more to it than that too, right? Yeah, I, I mean, my program is basically moving with purpose or 15 minutes a day, followed by five minutes of mindfulness or meditation and 10 minutes of personal development. Now it's 2% of 24 hours, 30 minutes. Everybody's got it, but it's all designed to allow you to accommodate into even the busiest of lifestyles. So it's not a matter of reinventing your lifestyle. Instead, it's just plugging and playing. Gotcha. Yeah. However, <laughs> fitness and food is important, and yes. you're going to talk to us about that today, right? Absolutely, all right. yeah. What have you brought here? Well, I brought a lot of different stuff, and, and because protein's important, and when you start looking at the Canada Food Guide, it's recommending that we get between 10 and 35% of our daily calories from protein. A lot of benefits. It helps with muscle tissue regrowth, also new tissue, brain function, all sorts of stuff. But Canadians are only getting about 17% of their daily calories from protein. Are you serious? Yeah, that's it. And we're supposed to have how much? Uh, upwards of 35%. And we're only getting 17? That's on Is that average. The women? No, and actually, well, women should be trying to get two servings of good protein a day. It's about 150 grams. Men, about 225 grams. That's okay. three servings. And I've brought an array of different proteins just to prove a point that not all proteins are created equal. And everyone's concerned about calories. So how do you get the best bang for the buck? Ooh. So you'll see over here, I've got 75 grams of cooked steak. Okay. That gives you 26 grams of good quality protein. That's good for a serving, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, to get that equivalent from a single ingredient source, and this is the big piece here, is whole foods, right? I, I want to get back to simple basics and get mindful of our choices. 100 almonds would give you the same amount of protein. Really? But almost 700 calories. <laughs> Where this is 184 calories for 26 grams. So, and it's very lean as well. Now also, the benefit of red meat as an alternative, uh, chicken, you would have six chicken breasts, the same amount of B12 as you get in that one serving of steak. Mm -hmm. 11 eggs get the same quantity of zinc that you would get from the simple cut. This is steak. how many eggs you'd have to eat to get the amount of zinc you get in that amount of beef. Exactly. You see, this is interesting because so many people are saying, oh, oh, I'm off red meat now. Mm. But that's not necessarily the most healthful choice, is it? Well, there's, I mean, gram for gram, calorie for calorie, very few sor single source protein ingredients have as much nutritional value as you get in, in, in steak. Now, I've brought to case in point, quinoa. Yep. Because I'm a big believer that we need variety in for our palate. So this is a grain and it is a, a complete protein, meaning it has the nine essential amino acids. That's what our body can't produce on its own, so you have to get it from diet. You would need six servings, <laughs> okay, to, to, to equate to that one serving of steak. But so many more carb calories. Well, and it's calories, right? Calories are calories. And then you got seven servings of peanut butter. <laughs> you know? and, and over here, we got two and a half servings of black beans, and then we have hummus as well. You need about five and a half servings of that to equate to what we'd be able to get with that single serving of red meat. Wow. And I think red meat sort of got a bad rap. People are concerned about the fat content. But the neat thing is, it's one of the few meats where you can actually carve off the fat. You can see it, where in other meat sources you can't. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Huh. That's, the, that's the tastiest part. Mm. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But I mean, how else can you prepare this? And I think it's all about convenience, right? Yes. And I have two little kids. And for me, if you want to move over here, I can also show you some of these options. Cool. Yeah, over here is one of my favorites. And that is uh, beef quesadilla as you can see there. And then mm -hmm. here, my kids love this because this is a grab and go sort of meal that I would often make. So this make. is the quesadilla that we're seeing here. Yummy. Yeah. And so it, simple. So simple. And you literally prepare it in under 20 minutes and away you go. Uh, these are sort of pack and go. Uh, my kids love these for lunch and it's Korean lettuce cups, uh, Korean beef lettuce cups. And then uh, over here we have our traditional beef wrap. Now these are all convenient items that you can prepare and then take with you. Yeah. I'm a big believer, you know, prepare once and then yeah, cook once and then actually make two or three meals out of it. And it's just strategizing that. Do you put these recipes conveniently in your book? I, I share some of these recipes, but I also provide links to additional resources on my website. Cool. Well, yeah. if, if you can do it, I mean, obviously you've got the whole package. You can coach others to do exactly the same. So it's your whole life fitness manifesto. That's right. It includes the, the nutrition and the fitness and, of course, all that mind, body well, stuff. It is 
body, mind, spirit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the times we don't know why we're doing the things that we want to do. Like I would ask you, how, how do you want to spend your days when you're 80 or 90 years old? And most people will look me in the eye and say, well, I want to travel. I want to be engaged with my family. Well, what decisions or choices are you making today to ensure you can lead that lifestyle later? Exactly. You want to be able to move your body fluidly without pain and discomfort, right? Absolutely. When okay. You say, yeah. Um, you've got a couple of chairs there. Ah, come on over. Well, I, I hear everybody say, oh, 15 minutes of movement, is that going to be enough? And what the style of training that I do is what's called as many repetitions, as many round as possible in oh. 15 minutes. I know a lot of people that travel or don't have equipment, and that's okay. You have a piece of equipment with you that you're going to have till the day you depart this planet, okay? Uh, so a chair, if you travel a lot, you got a hotel room, you got a chair, you're going to do this with me, all right? Okay. So we'll mirror each other. You can face here. We're going to start, and we're just going to do two yeah, step-ups. Yeah, I'm going to mirror you because I look exactly like Heck, you. you look perfectly fine and fit. So let's go ahead. We're going to step up here, all right, up, and then we're going to go down. We're going to go one more. We'll only do two reps of each, but normally I would have people do 10. Okay. Now from here, we're going to do a push-up. Okay. We're going to grab that front of the chair, lower ourselves down. And now you like to do that. Lower ourselves oh, okay. up. Okay. That's right. Oh. Two. Perfect. Now, oh, I'll three. Take, Showing I'll, me up that's now. Okay. Thank I'll you. <laughs> I don't need to take a break yet. Now we're going to turn around, Val, and what we're going to do is we're going to do some dips. You, but how many would we do? Ten? I would normally ask people to do either five or ten reps. Okay. And what we're going to do is all four movements, and then we repeat those rounds until 15 minutes was up. Oh, now I get uh, it. So now you're going to do a dip. One. Whoops. Hang two. On. Oh. oh. Losing your mic. I'll that's fix okay. that in a second. What's the trick to this one? The trick with this one is, and you're actually doing it really well, Val, because your, your elbows are shooting out past behind you, not outwards. And so, so this allows like you, that. that's okay. right, because you'll find that that's actually going to strain your shoulders and you're getting proper extension here. So that's fantastic. And then the last one would be us just doing a simple squat and a little harder when you got the mic hanging there. But <laughs> what we would do oh, is. I really did a number, didn't I? Give me one second. Keep talking. Keep talking. All right. Well, hey, you know what? Squats are a great exercise, and people are concerned that squats are bad for the knees. Well, improper squats are definitely going to put some strain on the knees. But there's a proper way. There's a proper way. You shift okay. the hips away, lower our center of gravity down, so the butt cheeks just barely touch the top of that, that chair top. Keep the core slightly engaged, and then extend back up. I mean, this is functional fitness, right? So what's the one movement that we do every day numerous times that our quality of life would change if we couldn't do this anymore. And I think you, you know, know what, what I'm alluding to. I see, yeah, sitting. <laughs> I see a lot of people doing squats like this. Yeah, and that's, that, that's not right, is it? Well, it's going to be really difficult on your lower back, and then that creates a very awkward position from a leverage standpoint. So that's why often people say, well, bend at the knees when you go to pick something up. That way you can keep the core engaged, keep the back nice and straight. That's right. Look, you're doing a squat. You've got to check out his website. Get the book. Uh, get with the plan. It's diemanuel.com. D-A-I-M-A-N-U-E-L.com. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. It's awesome. Check out these events in your community.